Being with us, we're following a breaking news story that it happened earlier today, but it's really affecting a lot of people who are driving. A truck full of tequila and vodka is on its side in Johnston County. So if you're heading through Clayton today, expect some major delays. Yeah, this is causing some real traffic headaches. The town spokesperson tells us Shotwell Road from US 70 West to Old Garner Road is closed. As crews work to move a tractor trailer full of liquor, it overturned about 6 o'clock this morning. Yeah, and it is kind of unbelievable to see the video of all that on the ground. North Carolina, CBS North Carolina. Robert Richardson live at that intersection right there and uh, Robert I can see the activity and the mess right there behind you. Russ and Maggie you can see the overturned truck behind me and over here to the left we've got a forklift that just put a pallet full of tequila on another truck to take the items back to Greensboro. Take a look just at the truck this sheet metal this is video from this morning when a towing company was trying to figure out if it could turn the truck back upright, but wreckers and workers from the company determined they needed to unload the truck first. Police say that it's from a distribution company in Greensboro. The salvage cases will be going on a truck back to Greensboro for assessment and inventory. Now, if we can take a look, uh, a live picture, you see the hole. This is the roof of the truck. We, there was a basically a bucket line of workers handing cases from one end to the other. They've been doing this for several hours. The roof of the truck along here has been just buckled in and further up towards the end we have crews from the Department of Transportation that are working to do what they need to to clean up. The truck was tended to for a possible oil spill. We're told that the driver is okay. He was taken to a hospital with a bump on his head, and we're working to get a few more details about what exactly caused this truck to turn over. We'll have that for you later today on air and on the WNCN News app. Reporting live in Clayton, Robert Richardson, CBS North Carolina. Robert, thanks for that. We have